everyone, Beth here from Queen City Clay. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I make some spoons. So this first method of making a spoon, I like to start with a slab of clay and a spoon actually from your kitchen drawer is great. So I will take my spoon, lay it in the middle of my slab and I like this slab to be a little thicker, um, probably maybe a half an inch or so maybe a little thinner. And I'm going to start tracing this spoon on my slab of clay. Okay, so pop my spoon off of there and I have a really nice outline of a spoon and I probably could have fit a few more on here and I could probably still do that but for right now we'll stick with this. Once we have our spoon cut out, our spoon shape cut out, I'm gonna pick this up and you can see how thick that is. It's probably like about a half an inch and I'm going to hold the spoon part and then let the um, handle of the spoon kind of dangle down. And I'm going to gently start in the middle of the spoon and pinch. So I'm going to pinch this to create the scoop of the spoon. I'm starting in the middle and working my way to the edge. slowly turn this so you can see. Just gonna work my way around this edge. And I'm really trying to focus on making the wall of this as even as possible. So it's not really something that you can see, it's more something that you're gonna feel. So I'm just gently pressing with the pads of my fingers until I get this wall even. And as I'm doing that, this rim is getting a little bit out of whack. So what I will do is I'll keep a damp sponge close by that I can then dip my finger on and then I can just kind of wipe a little bit of moisture onto this rim. So just like you would with a, um, a pot on the wheel, you want to kind of compress this rim as you go. So I've just got a little bit of damp, uh, a damp sponge that I can just dip my finger onto to add a little bit of moisture to this rim as I go. And I'm just gonna go around and refine that. A little bit at a time. Okay, so once I have the scoop part of the spoon mostly pressed out to where I want it to be, then I'm going to like work my way down the handle. Okay, so I'm gonna gently squeeze, and I don't wanna get too much of that meat out of there. I wanna leave more of a neck right here so that there is some support for the handle and the spoon. Okay, so I'm just gonna gently press that just a little bit and then I'm gonna lay it down on the tabletop, okay? When I have it on the tabletop, I'm going to slowly press down. I'm gonna keep the scoop lifted and I'm gonna slowly press this area down with my fingers. So I'm using the tabletop to press up against so that the back of this spoon is flat. And I'm really just pressing these edges to kind of refine the edges. And then I'm leaving the middle section of this thick so that it has a little bit more support. And then once this is all pressed out and flat, then I can kind of deal with my scoop part a little bit more and round this out and really refine these edges. So you want to think about that edge of that spoon being nice and thin so that if you are using it to eat, which 
not totally sure how many people would, but if you are using it to eat, that it's gonna feel nice when you touch it against your mouth. And sometimes I will roll a little um, coil of clay to kind of help keep these propped up. You can also um, use a little bit of foam to press the, or to lay them on so that they don't get um, um, like little nicks and things on them. Or you can use a soft towel to kind of roll up and tuck underneath the scoop so that it stays propped as it's drying. Another way that we can make a spoon is by starting with the coil, okay? So I'm gonna roll out my coil and I wanna apply even pressure all the way across. I'm going to cut this down just a little. I don't need it to be huge. And I'm gonna kind of round this area off on one side. Okay, and I'm gonna apply pressure. I'm gonna take about uh, an inch of this and I'm not gonna touch this first inch and I'm gonna apply pressure to this other side, okay? So just where my hand is touching on the coil is where I'm gonna thin this down more. I wanna make sure I'm making full rotations here so that I don't get this kind of flat coil going on. So if that happens, you can kind of tap it in the other direction, lay it on its side and tap it to round it back out. Make sure that you're making full rotations. Okay, so I'm get, ending up with more of like a tadpole kind of shape. That's what I'm looking for. So I have a wider top and then more of a tail at the bottom. So this is gonna be a little bit of a smaller spoon, maybe like a sugar spoon. Okay, so I'm gonna cut a little bit of that top off because I don't need quite so much. And I'm gonna round that back out just with my fingers. I'm gonna kind of model it back down. Okay, I'm going to press my thumb into the top of this tadpole. And I'm gonna use my thumb to kind of mold the scoop portion of the spoon. Okay, so I'm leaving my thumb in there sort of like the mold. And I'm going to press this clay around my thumb. Kind of work it around there. sort of like that. And then I will use my pinching techniques to gently finish this edge here. And what I like to do is I like to create um, a little rim here to kind of complete the scoop of this spoon by pressing in with my needle tool. So I'll create another lip that goes around. And I'm going to then use my fingers and pinch and press the scoop. And then I'll kind of model the rest of this here. Now I don't need this to be so long, so I'll cut that back and then model the rest of this. And again, if you need to add a little bit of moisture because you're cracking on some of your edges, you can just dip your finger in a little bit of water or um, dip your finger onto a damp sponge and just add a little moisture to kind of compress any of those little cracks that happen. So I'm gonna continue to kind of model that scoop portion Flip it upside down and work my handle. And then kind of round this spoon back out so it's not so rectangular up top. And then to fire these, um, I will, oftentimes I'll put um, an underglaze decoration on the back so that they can be fired flat but still have a finished look on the back of them and then glaze all around this scoop area. Another way you can do it is use a kiln post and set your dip 
the top portion of your spoon in your glaze and then set this base into a kiln post so that it props it up in the kiln. And that will help keep the spoon from sticking to the kiln shelf. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it.